today we're going to talk about probably the most contentious topic of all in Gen 2, the flag optimization or compiler flag optimization. Now, to be honest, the general best advice you're ever going to get, and I know you're not going to like it, is to just use the default settings, which is, if we fire up our... Uh, slash O2, not a zero, slash pipe, slash march equals native. That is pretty damn fast. It's optimizing for speed, your CPU only, which is all you want really. Generally speaking, on an AMD 64 system, which most people use, um, it's a 5% increase in performance. Not amazing on other architectures it does change though depending on which one you're using but this is the most stable and best speed boost you're probably going to get now one thing that gen 2 users do like to do is trade c flags like it's crack cocaine don't listen to people unless you have tested it to make sure it works it probably doesn't do any good and most of the people recommending these flags have not ever tested them themselves. These ones that I'm showing you now have been tested, they're known to work, all you really ever need. But let's say you do want to run a different C flag, how do you test to see how it performs? Well, we're going to use a benchmarking software and we're going to compile, um, do a test with our system which I've made sure is using all the settings of, um, sorry, it's been recompiled with those C flags that I've just showed you. And just for speed, all we're going to test is OpenSSL, GNUPG, uh, and Compressed Z7. Okay, it's just going to give us a quick benchmark of, um, of what the system was before and what the system is after. This isn't conclusive evidence, it's not a proper benchmark. I'm just giving you an idea of how to do it, okay? So, we're going to run this. I'm just going to test one because we're only doing it for an example. So, SHA256. I like to save the results. I'm going to name them um, GLAP Baseline. Because you need something to be able to compare to to know if they're actually doing anything. If you haven't done this, how do you know? what you're using is faster so let's run and away we go <laughs> right okay so we can view this result in the web browser and let's upload it for see would you like to attach your logs yeah right so we've now got our baseline stats just tells us everything about the system, how quick it ran, uh, 7 step compression, um, GPG, OpenSSL. And again, just to stress, this isn't a proper full test. You should look into a much more thorough test than this one when doing the stats for um, compile flag changes, but it's just going to give us an idea so we understand in this short and down version, as short as you can possibly get it. So, let's go back to our terminal so what flags are we going to use let's go for a safe one So as I said before, O2 is for uh, optimised for speed, which is what we want. Now, this one gets confusing, we're going to use Optimise 3, which is called Optimise Performance. Now, performance doesn't always mean it's going to be faster, it's just the way it's called, alright? So, we're going to try that, we're going to keep everything else the same, we're not going for any crazy rice of flags. You can do that on your own time if you're not going to listen to my advice. But let's see what would happen if we used Optimize Level 3. 
Now, to get these changes to effect and take control enough for a benchmark, we need to use the emerge slash E, which is empty tree at world. This will then rebuild the entire system. Um, I'll do a video later on explaining when um, doing an empty tree at world is a good idea and when it's a silly idea. So, these just the uh, yeah, so we're just going to run that now, okay? So, the system is now rebuilt with O3. Let's take a look at how this does. So, I rerun the test. I'm going to go up so I make sure I use the right files. Okay, here we go. Okay, so, as you can see, with our little test that um, GPG and OpenSSL are a tiny bit faster and 7SIP's a tiny bit slower. So it swings around about. Some applications work better with O2, some work better with O3. Generally speaking though, you're not going to know it's much different. There are times when O3 does come into play, it's usually multimedia stuff like video players and stuff like that. But again, you're probably not going to notice it. If it is important enough, Portage usually sets it for you. Um, if we want to go over some of the bad flags to set, O fast is probably the worst one. It assumes maths in that one, so it can actually break things like OpenSSL. So don't ever use that one. Um, but yeah, there we go. Basically, I think the general rule here we need to learn is keep your system flags um, stable. And if you know an application works better with a certain compiler flag, then use it with a package envy, which we'll um, discuss another day. But for now, thank you very much. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one and reading all the comments on this one. <laughs> See you later. Bye.